so before before the vice president shares his remarks, we've got a special guest here today, and I wanted to introduce him. You heard me mention earlier the very first place that Vice President Pence went to when he came to Montana in his vice president capacity on a horse was to Crow Country. It is, it is my honor to introduce to you a very good friend of mine and soon to be a very good friend of yours, the chairman of the Crow Tribe, Mr. A.J. Not Afraid. It's an honor to speak before you today. It's also an honor to be on the stage with two great men. I know there's like four others around here that are hanging out. <laughs> the Crow Tribe is a coal tribe. Coal Tribe is an energy tribe. The Crow, since the early 1800s, have always been a, an ally to the government. From the Battle of Little, Big, Little Bighorn, World War II, Vietnam, I myself am in the Marine Corps just after Desert Storm. And today I stand before you to endorse as well as support President Trump, Vice President Pence, Senator Daines, and my good friend Matt Rosendale. And last but not least, Superman Gianforte, the Montana <laughs> governor. So to clear the air, the crow don't live on U.S. subsidies. The crow do not ask for handouts. The crow asks this lineup to help, which in the last four years, President Trump had endorsed and amended, executed the Terra Act, which enabled the Crow tribe into permitting its own mineral resources. That's been a long time coming. Now it's just up to the tribe to walk through that door, as well as Vice President Pence telling the Crow the war on coal is over. Senator Daines, working with us in law enforcement, Crow Tribe does not ask for the federal government to say, hey, can you give us some funds to run law enforcement? Crow Tribe says, please step out of the way. Let us run our own law enforcement. In Congress, Gianforte, we testified before him during various natural resources, uh, testimonies and such, which not only helped the Crow tribe, but helped many nations in general, because there are over 500 tribes in the United States. 
And without that type of leadership that you have before you, why change horses midstream? So at this time, again, I thank you all for the opportunity. Go Trump. Go Pence. Danes, Rosendale, June 14. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.